Hello everyone and welcome back to Animation Pilgrimage where we watch every single theatrically released animated film in chronological order. We watch Mr. and Mrs. Cabal the Cabal's Theater and it was not good. This movie sucked! End of review. See y'all later. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh god, why? <laughs> so... This almost... We just watched a good movie! Why do we have to go so far bad again? This is a French film from 1967. Mm. I'm trying to get this one over as fast as possible. I don't want to think about this movie. Uh, you know having an earth magic? And how that was an art house trippy film of paper cutouts? This was very similar. Of, it was a lot of paper cutouts, but of actually hand-drawn stuff. So there's um, actually illustrations. art. Illustrations. So, so there's art direction. Yeah. And it's just a bunch of random stuff that Mr. and Mrs. Cabal do. And they just do it a lot for a very long time. Okay. This movie is... Okay, decent, has some moments for the first, like, ten minutes. And then you realize you have another hour and ten minutes to go. Yeah. Yeah, it wears out its welcome about ten minutes in. About the time the butterflies show up. And at that point you're just like, you know... I think I'm done. And then you look at the clock and you're like, oh no, we've only been watching for 10 minutes. This movie hasn't even started yet. No. Mrs. No. Cabal is a weird monster lady who might be a robot. Yeah, she's definitely a robot. And then Mr. Cabal. He's a pervert. Oh yeah, he's a horrible pervert. Every ten, five to ten minutes in this movie, he finds some place to go, pulls out his binoculars, and stares at a live-action woman. Yeah, because this is a mix. A different one every single time. Yeah, this is a mix of, of, oops, sorry. This is a mix of animation and live-action, but the live-action is just of women. Sexy women, usually sunbathing or doing something similar, and then an angry old guy with a beard coming out and yelling at him. Mm-hmm. And that's the end of that. We're just gonna well, do that. Well, it's not the end of it. You're gonna see We're it. We're gonna do it like six or seven more times. More than that. Eight times total. Eight times total. There are, were seven girls. Mm-hmm. The only reason that I know is eight times total is because they each get one, and then we have the eighth one at the end where they're all sitting around together. Mm-hmm. And then that was the last time we see that thing. So eight times this happens. Eight times we have to watch this guy creeping on some random lady. And then, okay, we should also say this movie started with a warning of like, this is meant for mature audiences only. There's nothing here. Nothing, yeah, there's nothing bad. There's just a lot of, like, implied ogling of women and such. I mean, like, the robot lady loses her head multiple times. But, like, <sighs> she's a robot, so it's not even, like, really an issue. Yeah, and there's, like, I guess technically gore. Well, there's this weird live-action scene where they go inside the human body. Yeah, like, he goes and watches a video about the human body with live-action segments of real insides. Mm -hmm. And that's a little squidgy if you don't like that kind of thing. I don't think we'll show any in this oh, review. Oh, no, no. Because, you know, we don't want to... We don't want to upset people. Mm -hmm. Just know that it exists. Yeah. Um... But he does that so that then he can go inside his mechanical wife to, to chase a butterfly out. Multiple butterflies. <sighs> Things just kind of happen, and then they end, and then we move on to something else. It, the movie ends. This is... Ooh, ooh, okay. 
this movie wouldn't be so bad if it wasn't an asshole about everything it's trying to tell you. It holds on shots for way too long, assuming that you are too stupid to understand what is going on. And it's like, every 10 seconds, I'm like, I get it, movie, move on. I get it. I see you with my eyes. Let's move on. But instead, it just holds. It holds on these shots like, do you understand? Do you get what's going on? Should we show it for longer? And I'm like, please, God, no, just make it stop. This movie sucked. <laughs> wow. Oh. I personally did not find it as offensive as you did, clearly. This, this just reeks of pretentiousness. Of just like someone who thinks they are so smart and so clever and they have to like talk down to their audience. And who knows, maybe not. But that's the vibe I got from this movie because it just did not think its audience was smart enough to quote unquote get it. <laughs> Either that, or they're just really, really bad at telling a story. Which is also possible, but I also know that this is not this director's only film. Is it their first? No. Okay. It's their first animated film, obviously. And their last. Good. Good. No, the director of this film, well, I'm not going to bother saying the name of, because I don't know how to pronounce it. But I looked him up on Wikipedia, and you know what the Wikipedia article had to say in, like, the first two sentences? He's a pretentious a-hole. <laughs> the Wikipedia article is like, he's a Polish director, often cited as a genius who happened to be a pornographer. I'm just like, all right, cool, I'm done. I'm done. Get me out of here. I'm Audi 5000. Screw all this. I hate it. Thanks. <laughs> okay. There's not even any nudity in this movie. No. Well, okay, there's one of the girls that's actually naked, but like Oh yeah, you don't I guess see there is. anything. Yeah. So it's like what why is this intended for adult audiences? Because kids would be bored out of their minds? Adults are going to be bored out of their minds. Mm-hmm. I, I, don't, I don't know. I just... We could summarize what happened, but, like, who gives a shit? I already forget. Yeah. Most it, of it. it. Honestly, the first ten minutes are not bad. They're amusing enough. They've got some funny jokes. There are some funny jokes in this movie, but it is so pretentious and assumes that you won't get it unless it shows the joke like five or six times or thinks that its jokes are so funny they need to come back five or six times. And it's just like, no, it, it, was, it was like a, hmm, the first time. And now I'm just irritated. <laughs> Oh my goodness. I hated this. I can tell. I thought it was pretty boring and just kept going, but I didn't hate it per se. I hate it because it's just a waste of my time. It's like it has no good reason to be as long as it is, but it is just because. Okay. And that's what makes me angry. All right. So, would I recommend people watch this? Hell no. Nah. Uh, honestly, I think that's probably going to be it for this episode. This is a short episode of Animation Pilgrimage, because this is all this movie deserves. See you next week, everybody, where we review... The Wonderful World of Hans Christian Andersen. By Toy Animation. Thank you all, and goodbye.